Hello, this is Ted, and this is March 4 of 2007. And I also use the name of Ted Jesus Christ God because I am Ted, and I am Jesus, and I am Christ, and I am God, and I am also the judge. I am the judge of everything. I sit in the highest judgment seat. I sit on the primary judgment seat. I do not sit to the right hand of another God who sits on another judgment seat. I am God and I sit on the judgment seat, the primary judgment seat. And something that definitely did get almost completely out of control was divine and holy and sacred delusion and anything similar to this. Because if you deem anything divine and or holy and or sacred, this is a form of worship. You worship this. And I am a jealous God and I do not want anything else to be in any shape or form worshipped. Therefore I have judged and I am doing judgment on world earth during this coming um, after being born again at another nativity and I'm doing judgment everywhere, including for the highest host. Nothing else except for Ted, who is Ted Jesus Christ God, who is the one, the one God, the one living God, who is Christ, who is the creator of everything, who is the God of everything, who is God of everything, who is the Lord of everything sitting on the primary throne and not in the slightest to the right hand of anybody or anything sitting on the primary judgment seat and is the judge and not to the right hand of anybody or anything nothing else in the entire universe nothing else anywhere nothing else even in the much larger defined infinite universe that Ted is defined just in case goes for all infinity in all directions who he is also um, everything he has um, told you is okay um, nothing else is holy and or sacred or divine actually he wants to say in this order divine and or holy and or sacred or anything similar because if you deem anything to be similar to this. You worship this. Now Ted grew up a Seventh-day Adventist and a Protestant. And we had in our homes Holy Bibles, or what were called Holy Bibles. This is something that is called a Holy Bible. And I was afraid to put anything on top of this Bible. I never wanted to put anything on top of the Bible. I never wanted to set anything like this mug, this captain's mug from the sailboat, on top of a Bible because I was afraid this was holy and this would be desecrating a holy Bible when this is not holy in the slightest. Bibles are not holy. No Bibles are holy. Nothing else is divine and are holy and are sacred because this became divine and are holy and are sacred dilution and it did get almost completely out of control, uh, including none of the hosts now are holy. The hosts are only, some of them, royal. And do you worship anything what is royal? No, you are not supposed to worship anything royal. Nothing royal is worshipped. Okay? And Ted is also judging he is the only um, royal thing and his bloodline, his line, his lineage on world earth, is the only thing what is royal now on world earth running into the future. Okay? We're also resetting this, and he judged he is the only royal blood, he is the only blue blood on world earth. Therefore, no Bibles are holy. Holy Bibles do not exist. Okay? Now, what did this do? By deeming a Bible holy, what did this do? This made people insist these were perfect. These made some people insist these were infallible. 
These made some people insist these were all inspired. These made some people insist these were all accurate. These made some people insist these were all good. These made some people worship these. Holy idol. This is an idol. This is something you worship. It's dead. It's not living. It's non-living. It isn't like an idol. And then the Roman Catholic Church did get almost completely out of control with this.